Sir Paul McCartney is a key figure in contemporary culture as a singer, composer, poet, writer, artist, humanitarian, entrepreneur, and holder of more than 3,000 copyrights. He is in the Guinness Book of World Records for most records sold, most hash ones shared, most covered song, yesterday, largest paid audience for a solo concert, 350,000 plus people, in 1989, in Brazil. He is considered one of the most successful entertainers of all time. He was born James Paul McCartney on June 18, 1942, in Liverpool General Hospital, where his mother, Mary Patricia Mohan, was a medical nurse and midwife. His father, James Jim McCartney, was a cotton salesman and a pianist leading the Jim Max Jazz Band in Liverpool. He has Irish and English ancestry. Young McCartney was raised non-denominational. He studied music and art, and had a happy childhood with one younger brother, Michael. At age 11, he was one of only four students who passed the 11-plus exam, known as the Scholarship, in Liverpool, and gained a place at Liverpool Institute for Boys. There he studied from 1953 to 1960, earning a level in English and art. At the age of 14, Paul McCartney was traumatized by his mother's sudden death from breast cancer. Shortly afterward, he wrote his first song. In July 1957 he met John Lennon during their performances at a local church fete festival. McCartney impressed Lennon with his mastery of guitar and singing in a variety of styles. He soon joined Lennon's band, The Quarrymen, and eventually became founding member of The Beatles, with the addition of George Harrison and Pete Best. After a few gigs in Hamburg, Germany, the band returned to Liverpool and played regular gigs at the Cavern during 1961. In November 1961, they invited Brian Epstein to be their manager, making a written agreement in January 1962. At that time McCartney and Harrison were under 21, so the paper wasn't technically legal, albeit it did not matter to them. What mattered was their genuine trust in Epstein. He improved their image, secured them a record deal with Emmy, and replaced drummer Best with Ringo Starr. With a little help from Brian Epstein and George Martin, the Beatles consolidated their talents and mutual stimulation into beautiful teamwork, launching the most successful career in the history of entertainment. The Beatles contributed to music, film, literature, art, and fashion, made a continuous impact on entertainment, popular culture and the lifestyle of several generations. Music became their ticket to ride around the world. Beatlemania never really ended since its initiation, it became a movable feast in many hearts and minds, a sweet memory of youth, when all you need is love and a little help from a friend to be happy. Their songs and images carrying powerful ideas of love, peace, help, and imagination evoked creativity and liberation that outperformed the rusty Soviet propaganda and contributed to breaking walls in the minds of millions, thus making impact on human history. All four members of the Beatles were charismatic and individually talented artists, they sparked each other from the beginning. Paul McCartney had the privilege of a better musical education, having studied classical piano and guitar in his childhood. He progressed as a lead vocalist and multi-instrumentalist, as well as a singer-songwriter. In addition to singing and songwriting, Paul McCartney played bass guitar, acoustic and electric guitars, piano and keyboards, as well as over 40 other musical instruments. McCartney wrote more popular hits for the Beatles than other members of the band. His songs Yesterday, Let It Be, Hey Jude, Blackbird, All My Loving, Eleanor Rigby, Birthday, I Saw Her Standing There, I Will, Get Back, Carry That Weight, P.S. I Love You, Things We Said Today, Hello, Goodbye, Two of Us, Why Don't We Do It in the Road, Helter Skelter, Honey Pie, When I'm 64, Lady Madonna, She's a Woman, Maxwell's Silver Hammer, Obla D, Obla Da, Mother Nature's Son, Long and Winding Road, Rocky Raccoon, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, The Fool on the Hill, You Never Give Me Your Money, Your Mother Should Know, The End, Yellow Submarine, and many others are among the Beatles' best hits. Yesterday is considered the most covered song in history with over 3,000 versions of it recorded by various artists across the universe. Since he was a teenager, McCartney honored the agreement that was offered by John Lennon in 1957, about the 50-50 authorship of every song written by either one of them. However, both were teenagers, and technically, being under 21, their oral agreement had no legal power. Still, almost 200 songs by the Beatles are formally credited to both names, regardless of the fact that most of the songs were written individually. 
The songwriting partnership of John Lennon and Paul McCartney was really working until the mid-60s, when they collaborated in many of their early songs. Their jamming on a piano together led to creation of their first best-selling hit, I Want to Hold Your Hand, in 1963. In total, the Beatles created over 240 songs, they recorded many singles and albums, made several films and TV shows. Thousands of memorable pictures popularized their image. In their evolution from beginners to the leaders of entertainment, they learned from many world cultures, absorbed from various styles, and created their own. McCartney's own range of interests spanned from classical music and English folk ballads to Indian raga and other oriental cultures, and later expanded into psychedelic experiments and classical-sounding compositions. His creative search has been covering a range of styles from jazz and rock to symphonies and choral music, and to cosmopolitan cross-cultural and cross-genre compositions. Epstein's 1967 death hurt all four members of the Beatles, as they lost their creative manager. Evolution of each member's creativity and musicianship also led to individual career ambitions, however, their legacy as the Beatles remained the main driving force in their individual careers ever since. McCartney and the Beatles made impact on human history, because their influence has been liberating for generations of nowhere men living in misery beyond the Iron Curtain, something in their songs and images appealed to everybody who wanted to become free as a bird. Their songs carrying powerful ideas of real love, peace, help, imagination and freedom evoked creativity and contributed to breaking chains and walls in the minds of millions. The Beatles expressed themselves in beautiful and liberating words of love, happiness, freedom, and revolution, and carried those messages to people across the universe. Their songs and images helped many freedom-loving people to come together for revolutions in Prague and Warsaw, Beijing and Bucharest, Berlin and Moscow. The Beatles has been an inspiration for those who take the long and winding road to freedom. McCartney was 28 when he started his solo career, and formed his new band, Wings. His first solo album, McCartney, was a number one hit and spawned the evergreen ballad, Maybe I'm Amazed, yet critical reaction was mixed. He continued to release music with Wings, that eventually became one of the most commercially successful groups of the 70s. Band on the Run won two Grammy Awards and remained the Wings' most lauded work. The 1977 release, Mull of Kintyre, stayed at number one in the UK for nine weeks, and was highest-selling single in the UK for seven years. In 1978 McCartney's theme, Rockestra, 